I now give the floor to the representative of the Green Climate Fund. Good morning, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for this opportunity to present the official statement on behalf of the Secretariat of the Green Climate Fund. In 2015, for the first time in disaster risk reduction history, the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction adopted numerical targets and indicators for countries to achieve by 2030. There are several opportunities as countries strive to achieve the seven targets in the Sendai Framework. Two of these are Target C, the actions to reduce economic losses, and Target G, improving access and availability of multi-hazard early warning systems and risk information and assessments. Global economic losses from disasters are estimated at around $500 billion annually. There is also evidence that more than 90% of all disasters are water and climate related from extreme events like typhoons and hurricanes to increasing risks from droughts and, conversely, floods. While challenges in implementation exist, the potential for impact on these Sendai targets is also great. For example, while the global need for infrastructure investment is estimated at $5 trillion per year, there is an additional premium of up to 25% to make infrastructure low carbon and climate resilient. The Green Climate Fund, or GCF, is the largest dedicated climate fund with a mandate to promote the paradigm shift to low emission and climate resilient development. GCF is unique in many ways. We invest equally between mitigation and adaptation. We put equal focus on public and private sector projects, and we do public-private sector partnerships or PPP projects. One of our goals is to use public sector financing to crowd in private capital. We have four financing instruments, grants, concessional loans, guarantees and equity, and we encourage the blending of these instruments. We can help to multiply and enable your investments in disaster risk reduction to make them more effective, efficient and have larger impacts. GCF has one of the largest UN-backed capacity building programs on climate change through our readiness program. Up to $1 million per year per country to get ready to access climate finance. GCF also offers up to $3 million per country for the formulation of national adaptation plans, or NAPs, and other adaptation planning processes, which can be used to include objectives to implement the Sendai framework as well. In addition, we offer project preparation support of up to $1.5 million to do develop and prepare project proposals to GCF. One concrete example on how we do this is through our investments in early warning and climate information. As of March this year, we have approved 23 projects across 29 countries that have climate information or early warning systems components. These projects have more than $1.5 billion total in financing, reaching 126 million beneficiaries. Finally, Unique to GCF is our ability to invest end-to-end -end in these systems, from soft to hard investments. In this way, we can leverage your investments in DRR in general, and especially supporting early warning systems and climate information, including on risk data and assessments. This year, the GCF enters its first replenishment process. As we garner commitments from governments, we can help set the ambition of the UN Climate Summit in September this year. We urge all of you here to raise your voices and provide your support for GCF's replenishment process in order to increase investments in climate mitigation and adaptation, climate information and early warning systems, and disaster risk reduction. 
As countries move forward in their efforts to achieve the Sendai framework, the SDGs and the Paris Agreement, there is an increasing need for all of us to work together to build synergies and to increase our collective impact. Thank you very much.